the other day I was at work, and a colleague of mine at work uh, just found out that apparently he owed not an immense sum, but some sum of say 680 euros, if I recall, in back taxes, because he had changed uh, at some point in time his tax class or his tax category, something to that effect. And he's not an MRM. In fact, he's married. Um, but it got me thinking, something I always think about, and I often think about taxes and how high they are and how little you get to keep and along, things along those lines. And true to my oath to limit um, politics um, or discussions of pol too, much, too much discussion of politics on my channel, I want to try to tie this into uh, essentially a man going his own way. There will be, unfortunately, for better or worse, a little bit of the libertarian in me, uh, lowercase l, shining through in this, so bear with me. I also want to talk about going abroad, but one will lead to the other. The, pro the problem I see um, as a man going his own way, for all of us who decide to choose that route, is that taxes are a real issue. If, if most men go on their own way, want to be economically, e economically autonomous and be able to maintain their path. When you have a rapacious state that's claiming anywhere from 30% to even half of your income in some countries, it's very difficult to do that, never mind all the waste and uh, junk that the state uh, engages in in terms of spending tax money. It's funny, after, anecdotally, after... Um, I found out about this. Another colleague of mine, a German one, showed me some website about uh, tax waste by, by the German state, and there were a bunch of prominent examples. Uh, uh, it, if it weren't so sad, it would be funny, but that's neither here nor there. But what I want to talk about, the fact that, and this, this dovetails with my, one of my previous videos about education and, and men, going, men going their own way, uh, it really would behoove you to pursue an education that allows you to quote unquote be outsourced to a country where uh, you can earn money and actually keep what you earn. Because let's face it, even the good old U.S. of A., uh, which I haven't, I haven't worked there in quite some time, and so I haven't paid taxes there in quite some time. I mean, you don't keep a whole lot of what you earn. Certainly in father state Germany, uh, you don't keep a whole lot of what you earn. So now you will and do uh, owe a lot of taxes. And uh, in, a, in a rare moment of, uh, of brilliance, as my colleague sometimes, I wonder about him, but he did say something to the fact that, you know, when you're earning money, it's just a loan. And it, that is to say that the state, the state is just, you know, they're just basically telling you, you can keep so-and-so and so much, and that's it. And this has always been my opinion, that at the end of the day, no matter how many people might argue against it, the, the, the whatever tax rate you're paying, it is a rather arbitrary decl declaration on the part of the state. The state could just as well say you have to pay 99%, and I'm sure they would be able to find justifications for it. So as a man going in his own way, I think the best solution ultimately is to go abroad, leave Western countries. Western countries um, have devolved economically over time. Uh, there was a time when you could do very well in them financially and it becomes has become increasingly difficult mostly due to uh, taxes, I have to say. I mean, depending on what your salary is, if, if, you, if you have to pay 40%, whether it's in social contributions, as they call them here in Germany, or total 40% of your salary, your income, uh, taxes. That's a lot. Um, I'm constantly, I constantly hear complaints here about how no one can save money. Um, another colleague of mine also has complained about that. So what's the solution? The solution is have the skills to allow yourself to be outsourced. It sounds really bad, the boo word, outsourcing. Not if you're one of the uh, people being outsourced, and by that I don't mean working in a factory for uh, a buck an hour. If you have the skills or the qualifications or what have you, you can be outsourced and work in a country uh, or a place that will have very, very low taxes, such as Dubai. Um, when I was used to work in South Korea, some place I'm 
considering returning to very seriously. I had an overall tax rate of about 3.3%, so I was keeping virtually everything. Um, there was a small amount that I paid into my pension. I got that returned to me when I left. But it was very cheap. And even in Hong Kong, most of the consensus that I've I'm not an expert on Hong Kong. It's about a flat 10% tax. You pay on what you earn. So many, many countries uh, abroad will give you a much better bang for your buck if you're earning there. You'll be able to keep much more of what you earn and hence be able to save much more of what you earn. That's really important. Uh, and the simple fact is that to be able to pay for things in the future, to save up for investments, I cannot imagine, unless you're already in, come into large sums of money, uh, living in the West and being able to afford that, so that being able to do that. When I, when I was living and working in Korea, I was financially doing, there are other issues, reasons I left, but Financially speaking, I was doing pretty well, and uh, it it primarily was because I was keeping most of my money. Uh, that's not the case here, and it's not the case. It uh, wasn't the case in the states. It wasn't the case other places I worked. Um, and remember, you are at the behest uh, and at the beckoning of uh, Father State. Father State could just say, "Well." You want to know, we're going to jack jack taxes up to so and so much. The funny thing is, and I hate, I hate mentioning this, that usually when the, when, the, when the state declares an increase in taxes or fares, most recently, I believe it was either the beginning of this year, I think it was the beginning of this year, yeah, um, the, uh, the two London Underground, they increased the fare rate by so and so much percent. It's ridiculously expensive now. I don't know the exact sum right now. But the service has been awful for years. I, I've only I only lived in in London for somewhat over a year, but people who lived there for many years told me that, and I haven't visited. Yeah, it's pretty bad. There's no increase in in uh, in performance. So honestly, if you have the opportunity to be outsourced to a place like Dubai or Singapore or Hong Kong or wherever, you should do it. Uh, take advantage of the education you've garnered for yourself. Take advantage of the skills you might have to offer. And take advantage of um, the money you potentially could earn. I've even gone so far as to think I'm not quite there yet, but working in a place like Saudi Arabia just for a year or two, just, um, well, just to save the money, because there you don't pay any taxes as a foreigner. Um, you know, it's something I would seriously consider just to get some money together, some more money together. Well, you know, we'll see what happens. But the point is that uh, the oppressive tax systems that exist across the board in Western countries are not good for men who want to go their own way. Um, and never mind the fact that the taxes you pay go to supporting a a matriarchal system, a feminist a system that will always favor females over you. You know, you add two and two together, it, uh, the best thing you could do is just get out of it, get out of Dodge. Um, part of an element for me, eventually, of getting out of Dodge is to get go to a place where you're going to pay less taxes and be able to keep much more of what you earn. Um, I, I firmly believe that you should keep what you, what you work for. Um, Taxes, especially income tax, now that that is a a, a form of state tyranny. And, uh, that that is the lowercase libertarian shining through. But uh, but it you know you really need to develop a sense of self awareness for this. Uh, I've often posited uh, the question to to European colleagues, friends of mine. They had the option to either keep everything they earn, pay no income tax, or keep the system intact. Sometimes, most of the time, they just, let's keep the system intact. Um, not realizing that they could probably better provide for themselves than Father State could. Um, but this would be, I think, sound advice. Uh, it was advice given to me many years ago by a much older friend. 
And so you can, you can benefit from this. Um, you can truly, truly benefit from this. If you have the skills, source of resources, education, whatever, let yourself be outsourced. Make some good money. Um, there's not much in the West for you anyway as a man going your own way. I mean, what is there left for you at the end of the day? So it's just something I, I, I would strongly recommend uh, doing and uh, considering. You, know, you want to keep you want to keep the money you earn. You want to stop supporting certain social structures that are destructive to you and your fellow men. Just get out of dodge and uh, start keeping what you earn and you know, start being more prosperous. I'm not. I have to go go back into that mode. I left that mode for quite some time, but I'm working towards it again. So uh, no, it's just something I, I wanted to say. Uh, thanks for watching.